I have been working on Nihilist stories since 2017. My curiosity led me to, to go further to discover the Nile and know the Nile away from Egypt, not only in Egypt, but in Ethiopia, Sudan, Rwanda, and in many other uh, countries. Historically, there is a lot of myth and rituals connected to the Nile River. One of them that I stumbled upon was the myth of the Bride of the Nile. Beautiful bride that is sacrificed to the gut habit of the Nile every year in the time of the flooding to ask for the floods to come. And I started to look more into it, whether it's true or false. But also I started to look and compare it to how we deal with the Nile today. And this was an uh, opening to my research and my second chapter of the Nile. And uh, through this research, I, I, I try to work with local communities. I try to work with a little bit of fiction, but also with a little bit with my niece on a personal level and uh, film and cinema, but also with photography and community initiative where we tried to revive an old ritual connected to the Bride of the Nile, which is the Nile Parade. And uh, the Nile Parade, it's something that used to happen every year. It's not happening anymore. And with the, with the community of fishermen in an island in Cairo, we try to revive this old ritual, but in a contemporary way, in a way to celebrate the Nile in the Nile day, but also to um, expose and highlight the different challenges we are facing now regarding our Nile. Through my work uh, in photojournalism that started in 2010, I was very lucky because it allowed me to know my community better. And I think this is what photography offers me, that I'm always exposed to stories, real stories, and I am documenting it in a visual way and making it available to uh, the wider public, the general public.